ang Woman of the Hour na nagpa-roller coaster ride sa damdamin ng mga Pilipino bago magpasko. Ang ikatlong Miss Universe mula sa Pilipinas. Si Pia Alonzo Wurzbach. Naging kontrobersyal man ang naging announcement ng winner kung saan si Miss Colombia ang unang tinawag ng host na si Steve Harvey. Pia! Pia, I love you, Steve. The first runner-up is Colombia. <laughs> Huli, si Pia ang idiniklarang totoong panalo. Siyempre, pahuhuli ba naman tayo? Kaya tumungo po ako mismo dito sa New York kung saan nakabase ngayon si Pia para siya ay maka one-on-one. -on -one. Una sa lahat, Pia, congratulations. Salamat. Thank you for making all of us proud. Maraming salamat po. Kamusta ka na? Kamusta ba maging Miss Universe? Very busy. <laughs> uh, nakapagsimula na ako bilang Miss Universe nitong week na to uh, dahil nakapagpahinga ako ng mga isang linggot kalahate after nung pageant night dahil Christmas at New Year. Pero ngayon, nagsimula na talaga yung trabaho. Mm -hmm. uh, busy talaga siya. At um, everyday, ang daming interviews, ganyan. Pero masaya. Hi! I'm crashing her interview! Please do! <laughs> Ito ba yung pinangarap mo beyond your wildest expectation? Is this everything you've fantasized about being Miss Universe? Nag-enjoy ako na mag-shopping, i-try yung mga pagkain nila, pati yung mga Broadway shows ang gaganda. Pia, sorry ha, pero can we relieve those moments? Yeah. Yung pag-announce ng winner? Despite leading ka dun sa mga poll, dun sa voting, ikaw yung nag-top dun sa Q&A o question and answer, and then anong naramdaman mo nung eksaktong moment na yun? Gusto ko siyempre na marinig na Philippines yung sabihin niya, mm -hmm. pero naisip ko nun, konti na lang. Tapos habang naglalakad ako pa balik sa back nung stage, sabi, nakita ko yung mga Filipinos na mga na, na daanan ko. Lahat sila, congratulations, we're so proud of you. Kaya parang ang gaan sa loob na at least I know that I did 100% and I made my country proud. Yung sigurado ko sa sarili ko na binigay ko lahat, proud sila sa akin, walang regret. Eh kaso bigla na lang sabi ni Steve Harvey, sorry, ay mali. Parang magic talaga. <laughs> Kasi, syempre, hindi ko naman akalain na uh, ganun yung mangyayari. Talagang hindi pinlano yun, hindi ko inexpect talaga yun. Sobrang excited ako, syempre, na parang, grabe, nanalo ako sa Miss Universe! Very calm and composed ka, ha? But, you know, I'm sure one million things must have been going through your mind na para kang na roller coaster. Sabi, biglang, hindi ikaw, first runner up ka lang, okay, bye-bye, biglang, ikaw pala. Mm -mm. Nag-summersault ba yung puso mo? Ganun ba yun? Parang inisip ko noon, uh, sige, punta na ako sa harap ng stage kasi ganun yung nirehearse namin eh. Oh, Pagka nanalo ka, nandun ka dapat sa harap at kukurunahan ka at maglalakad ka na. So, para sa akin, sinusunod ko lang yung, <laughs> yung blocking, ganyan. Pero syempre excited talaga ako. Ibang klase. Some people were saying, sayang naman. Pia deserve to win, sabi nga ni Pres Hilton, hmm. uh, unanimous lahat ng judges na ikaw ang panalo. And yet, parang some people felt na parang ninakaw yung glory hmm. from you. Ako hindi ko naman naramdaman na may nawala sa akin nung moment na yun. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya yung traditional na crowning moment talaga, mm -hmm. pero kakaiba siya. And para sa akin, I have the whole year ahead of me to enjoy to have many moments. I want to show the world, the universe rather, that I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Anong ibig sabihin nung confidently beautiful with a heart? Maraming magaganda, maraming confident, pero maganda ka rin ba sa ibang tao? Confident ka rin ba pagkaharap mo yung ibang tao? Ganyan. So, sarili mo lang ba iniisip mo or iniisip mo rin ba yung kapakanan ng mga 
kasama mo ng mga co-candidates mo. Why are you wearing that sash? Are you representing yourself or your country? And if eventually you win, are you able to represent the universe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's why I said confidently beautiful with a heart. Ipinanganak si Pia noong September 24, 1989 sa Stuttgart, Baden-Württemberg sa Germany. Yung father mo is German. Yes, he passed away already. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Hindi niya na inabutan tong itong narating mo? Hindi na, pero naabutan niya akong first runner-up sa Binibini Pilipinas. Oh. Alala mo ba siya when you won? Actually, nung araw na pumipirma ako ng contract ng Miss Universe as Miss Philippines, birthday ng daddy ko yun eh. Mm -hmm. So bigla ko naisip na ito siguro yung gift niya sa akin na para sorry, hindi kita na alagaan or hindi kita na nabigyan ng oras. Mm -hmm. nung nandyan pa ako, pero ito na yung regalo ko sa'yo. Kuwento ni Jonas, tatlong beses niya raw niyaya si Pia bago ito tuluyang pumayag na sumali sa Binibining Pilipinas. First, sa isang restaurant, so nakita ko siya and then sinabihan ko na baka gusto niya sumali. The second time, sa isang ball, fashion ball, um, nakita kami doon tapos hindi niya ako pinansin. Then the third one, pinagilit ko siya sa may mall. Sabi ko, ikaw yung na-scout ko, pero bakit parang hindi ka namamansin? Parang ang diva mo, meron lang, isa lang ang diva dito, hindi pwedeng ikaw. Sabi ko sa kanya. Tapos, yun na yun, parang um, sabi ko sa kanya, pwede kang sumali ng binibini eh. Tapos doon na siya na-excite ano, na, na parang, yes, finally, may gagawin na ako sa buhay ko. Pwede ka ba namin i-quiz, i-Q&A, yung mga past na Miss Universe questions? Sige po. <laughs> Kunwari, ito yung famous fish bowl <laughs> of past Miss Universe questions. Kunwari, ako yung host. Huwag kang mag-alala, hindi ako magkakamali. <laughs> Biglang ganun eh, no? Okay, ito. Miss Universe 1973, Margie Moran. Question, if you had one million dollars, what would you do with it? If I had one million dollars mm -hmm. that was given to me and money that I didn't earn myself, I would feel like I'm obligated to share it with other people. So I would put some into a charity that I'm interested in. I'll spend some with my family and my friends. Maybe I'll treat them to Disneyland, which is one of my favorite places to go. And then the rest of it, I will save for a future investment. Oh, good answer. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> Next <laughs> question. Yung tanong kay Miriam Kiambao, 1999. If Miss Universe were to become pregnant during the rain, should she be allowed to continue as Miss Universe? I think it's more important that you take care of the well-being of your baby and of yourself. I know for a fact that being a Miss Universe can be a tough job. It's a very hectic schedule and it will require a lot of your energy, a lot of your stamina. It may take a toll on your health if you're not very careful. So. For the baby's sake, I think that a Miss Universe should be able to take a break if she were to bear a child. Pero ikaw wala kang ganun, no? Wala po. Mm -hmm. Wala nga po ang boyfriend ni. Eh. So wala kang boyfriend ngayon? Wala po. Nako, ayan. Mahirap din naman po dahil sobrang busy talaga. Oh, pero I'm sure ang dami ng pipila dyan. <laughs> Yung tanong kay Venus Ra. What is the one big mistake you've made and what did you do to make it right? I have a tendency to give my... 100% or like all my heart when I fall in love and uh, I think that's a mistake because you lose sense of yourself so I've learned that it's no it's uh, good to know where to draw the line so now hopefully oh no not hopefully I know for sure that I won't make the same mistake again Oh. <laughs> She's smart. <laughs> okay. She's Miss Universe. <laughs> Ay, yung tanong kay Janine Tugonon. As an international ambassador, do you believe that speaking English should be a prerequisite to being Miss Universe? Why or why not? I think that being Miss Universe will require for you to be able to express yourself to a lot of people. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be just English. You don't have to be very good at it, but some sort of English so you can express yourself well during interviews and whatnot during your reign is definitely a bonus, I think. Ay, ang tanong kay Shamsi Supsup, Miss Universe 2011. Would you change your religious beliefs to marry the person you love? I don't think love knows any age or any boundaries, any religion, any skin color. As long as I'm not going to hurt anybody in the process, th there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. So 
If he's happy and I'm happy, nothing has to change. Taong 1969, nung unang masungkit ng Pilipinas ang corona ng Miss Universe. Salamat kay Gloria Diaz. Ag na agad din namang nasundan ni Margarita o ni Margie Moran taong 1973. May swell to ka every month aside from the premio. Travel the, to Europe, uh, most of the big cities to, to England, to Spain and France and Italy. And I also went around South America, usually promoting products. And almost every state, I think, in the United States, I went to. Sa akin, they gave it to us. So sorry, the second one, because the first one, chinek in ko. Kasi parati ako may problema, you know, in sa, sa security. Pag na pumapasok sa, sa X-ray, I have to explain all the time because I'm Miss Universe. So. One time I checked it in at nadurog. So I don't know what happened. Uh, they gave me a new one. People admire you, people give you special privileges, but I think the most important, you have to be like a role model. But more than that, really, is the love of your own countrymen. Lahat yan, at the end of the day, after one year, two years, three years, talagang yung pagmamahal ng iyong mga kapwa Pilipino. Yung classing walk yan, yung fears, ganun ba yan? Wala naman po kong pangalan dun sa walk, kasi iba po yung... Lakad ko pag evening gown, iba pag swimsuit. Depende po kasi sa suot talaga. Kaya hindi ko mabigyan ng pangalan. Gloria Diaz, Margie Moran, at ngayon si Pia Wurzbach. Ang ganda ng mga Pilipina, hindi lang angat sa world, kundi sa the universe. Rather, confidently beautiful with a heart pa. Hi, I'm Gloria Diaz. Miss Universe 1969. Mabuhay! Ako si Margarita Moran, Miss Universe 1973. Pia Alonzo Wurzbach, Miss Universe 2015 from the Philippines! Philippines.